Hi everybody, this is Ellie. Thanks so much for joining me today for a video where I share my brand new medical setup. This setup was inspired by Amy Graham at The Badass Valkyrie and I will link her video up above. The idea behind this is I wanted to have a system where I kept all pertinent medical information for myself and my boyfriend so that we'd be able to pull it out, access it when needed, and take it to appointments with us. I've said it before, but I do not have a great memory, so I think that having this here with actual notes that I can reference, oh, I had this test on this day, or I've had ear infections this many times in the past year, will be super, super helpful for me. I decided to keep this in a ring system, my very first ring system, if we're not counting the binders that I used to use in school. I chose rings because I think it'll still take me a while to go through and add in notes from kind of the past once I dig them out of some files. So I knew that rings would be the easiest way to do that because I can obviously rearrange as needed. This is a Filofax Malden in the ochre color. It's absolutely beautiful. I've seen many people with this and it's just gorgeous every time. It's in the personal size and I've just finished setting it up so I will show you guys what I've done. I apologize for the glare, it's later in the evening so I need to use my shiny lights. In these card pockets here, I have some freebie essential card printables from Alibi Design Studio and I will link everything that I can below. I printed out two medical information cards, one for me and one for Paul. It just has the pertinent information. I'm actually going to print some of these out for our wallets as well, but I will fill this in. There's space on the back and then I plan to laminate it. I realize I printed these wrong, but it wasn't worth reprinting them. So the name of her shop is just upside down there. So like I said, two of those, one that has my contact information, if found, please return to. And this one here is emergency contacts. This was just a little bit of extra paper that I had from my dividers. So I put it in here just to see a little bit of color peeking out. In this front pocket, I've just kept some tabs and just some post-its in case I need to jot anything down. I figured that the most functional way for us to use this was to have two separate sections that are basically identical, one for me and one for Paul. So I made two dividers out of some old scrapbook paper that I've had for years, and I used a couple of tabs that I got from Protect Your Peace when Marinay's shop was open, which unfortunately it isn't anymore. The colors I just thought were absolutely beautiful and went so well together. I've put some post-its on the back of each tab so that we have extra post-its as needed. All of the inserts in here are printables and they're either from Alibi Design Studio or Peanuts Planner Co. I will be sure and point that out for you guys. I have made my own tabs for this system. And what I've done is used a tutorial that Anne's Plans made on Instagram, and I'll link her Instagram below, but I don't know, I never realized that you could like print on Avery or post-it note tabs, and it was really eye-opening and exciting to learn, so I gave that a try. I would have preferred to use tabs that weren't patterned, but these were what I had, and I just wanted to use things that I already owned. I'd really suggest you check out her video. She uses different size tabs and different fonts and it's super helpful. It's in her Instagram stories. She saved it as a highlight. But basically what I did was I opened Canva on my computer and I came up with the tabs that I wanted. I played around with the sizing and the font. Once I had it printed out and knew that it would fit on the tabs, I just put the tabs directly on top and ran it through the printer again. So this was one that came out because I forgot that I did not need to print a cycle tab for Paul. So that was left over. The first insert that we have in each of our sections is a medical information insert. 
and I couldn't find one that had exactly what I wanted, so I reached out to the owner of Alibi Design Studio, Valeria, and I apologize that I'm not saying that correctly. It sounds so beautiful in Italian, guys. But anyways, she was wonderful. She asked me what I was thinking of, the things that I'd like to have in it, and she came up with this here. So name, birthday, blood type, allergies, conditions, prescriptions, medical history, space for three doctors information and emergency contacts. That's perfect. I did print it double sided in case I want to add any other doctors or like a dentist information, any, any extras that don't fit on the one side, I will just include here. So this was wonderful. And we go to my period tracker. So my tab says cycle and it has the entire year here and a space for notes. I do usually use a little key so I can track headaches, nausea, anything like that. So that is probably what I will put down here and then I just write the letters on the day that I experience any of those symptoms. Next we go to health log. This one is from Peanuts Planner Co and it has name, important, date, and information. So I've put in two of these sheets for each of us. The plan is that one sheet is going to be for each of our histories. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to write probably the year and you know if we had any procedures done or any significant injuries or illnesses, anything that I think is important enough to note and to be able to reference will go on one of these pages which I'm kind of going to consider like a history health log. The other page is just going to be for any symptoms that we feel like we need to track if you know we're trying to see if we get allergies really badly or if there's any sort of pattern to symptoms it'll be whatever we want I can print more of these as necessary so that's how I plan for us to use those this here is an appointment log also from peanuts planner co it has date time details and the check mark for completion this here is to have an overview of the appointments that we go to doctors dentist optometrist anything like that Here the tab is Rx, this is our prescription log. This one here is from Alibi Design Studio as well. Valeria was in the process of reformatting her inserts from an older script version and she hadn't yet gotten to these ones. I sent her a message to ask if she was planning to update all of them to this more minimal style and she said that she was and asked me which ones in particular I was looking at and promised to get to them as soon as possible. And I mean, I told her I was happy to wait. She did it, I think within 24 hours and was so sweet and lovely to work with. So this one has the medication, the start date, the stop date, the prescription number, refills, dosage and frequency, purpose, reaction, doctor and pharmacy. This is great for anything that's long-term, short-term, really anything. I like that we will be able to keep track of that. I put a couple of pages here, so there's four per page. And then we go here to an insert that says RX Tracker from Peanuts Planner Co. and I've tabbed it as expenses. So it has name, medication, date, note, and check mark. The way that I plan to use this is to track anything that has to do with medical expenses. So I won't use this spot that says medication. I will put the date that we've paid for something. So if we've picked up a medication, if we've gone to an appointment where we have to pay for parking, anything like that, I'll put the date, just a note like prescription and the medication name or you know parking fee. And here I will write the amount and I would like to use, you know, one of these per year and just be able to total how much we are spending in that area so that I know for budgeting purposes and just so that we have a record of that. I think this will be the perfect insert to do that in. And here we come to doctor's visits or appointment notes is what I've called it. 
These are from Alibi Design Studio as well, and this file actually comes with two options. There's two appointments per page and one appointment per page. So here, name, date, time, doctor, contact info, reason for visit, notes and questions, prescription, and next appointment. So that is four, you know, two on each side, so four per page. Here it's a little more detailed, date, doctor, contact info, location, time, reason for visit, has more space, symptoms, notes and questions, prescription, next appointment, and emergency contact. Well, I like having the option, some appointments, I know I will need to take more thorough notes and have more questions, and some will be more routine. So I like that I can use whichever one suits the situation the best. Couple of those, this one forgot to print double-sided. And then we come to notes. So I've printed off some freebies from the Peanuts Planner Co. Facebook group. So these are gridded. And just some notes that are broken up into columns and say today. The file of facts comes with the ruler. So I've just left it in between our two sections. And then we get to Paul's section, which is the exact same minus the cycle. So I'll just pull this up here so you can see info, health, appointment log, Rx, expenses, appointment notes, and notes. I at first thought I'd be able to put the tabs out farther and be able to see, you know, both words if it was stacked, but it interfered with the pen loop and I didn't like how it looked. So I've just done it like this, but I probably would have named this something different so I didn't have two appointments, but it does not bother me enough to change that. The only thing that I didn't love about this Filofax was that it doesn't have a back pocket because if we get prescriptions, they're almost always printed now on letter size paper and I just wanted a way to contain that in this setup. So what I've ended up doing is after Paul's section here, the notes, we come to this little guy here. This is a pocket that Robin from Talks From The Heart was kind enough to give me, and it's by Once More With Love. So what I've done is stuck it down to a piece of cardstock, laminated it, and then cut all the way down. It originally came with the pocket closed here, but I wanted it sliced all the way down so that I could fit in a piece of letter size paper that was folded in three. If I got any sort of prescriptions or anything like that. So it just goes in, it obviously sticks out the top, but that doesn't bother me. It's secure and it won't stay in here long-term just until I'm able to take it to the pharmacy or file it away or whatever I need to do with it. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's super cute. It does also have a card slot here, but I didn't bother slicing that out because I don't think I'll use that at all. Here, I just, oh, I put a little cheat sheet for printing the inserts because for the alibi inserts, you flip it on one edge and the Peanuts Planner Co, you flip it on the other. So that's just to help me remember. This here, I will be putting in the cards from our doctors. So this is a Filofax insert. And this is something that I was really, really excited about. Sarah Martinez has talked about how she uses this Hobonichi weekly supplement to track medical things for someone. And I thought that was such a good idea. So if you're not familiar, it's just one week per two pages. It's small, obviously, and Tomoe River paper, so really, really thin. And this has been great just to like quickly jot down any symptoms, any, you know, medication, prescription changes, anything like that is in here. And it's an entire year's worth of notes. So I just move the tab to the week that we're on in case there's anything that needs to go in it and it fits perfectly in this back pocket guys i was so so happy to find that out i could actually push it all the way down so you can't even see the tab but i do like to remember that it's there and see the tab so i just leave it sticking out a little bit 
really, really happy with that. I've also learned what people mean when they say this is a tight pen loop. I'm hoping that it uh, stretches a little bit more because right now I have in here this Acro Ball from Pilot, which I really, really like in the 0 0.5. And I do have some thinner pens that might fit in here, but I'd prefer to have a pen, you know, that I really enjoy writing with. Otherwise, I've seen some hacks for ways to like attach your pens in here. And I know there's plenty of options, but I am hoping that this one does stretch a teeny bit more and then I think it will be perfect, but we will see. So that's the medical setup. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it's going to be very, very functional. This is obviously not something that I'll be in every day. It's something that I will be in as needed and I can add to and change. I will still keep a medical file for us and that's likely where a lot of the year specific pages will go once they're done and you know like anything prescription wise once I'm done with the papers will go in there but long term things will definitely stay in here and I'm really excited to have this. If you have any medical setup or system I'd love to know what you keep in it and if you have any questions please feel free to ask down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.